Despite the vast network of branches of state-run commercial banks in India, only 9% of the rural people and 14% of the urban population have access to institutional credit. Financial inclusion is considered as an important approach to achieve inclusive growth in India as it enhances opportunities for the excluded people to realize their potential and address poverty. Financial inclusion, which is promoted by the Indian government and banks today, is not a start from the scratch. Already, the self-help group movement in India has shown the way by connecting the millions of poor women to the banking system. Dhan Foundation has been working on demystifying financial inclusion through building localized financial institutions of poor men and women for the past two decades. Dhan has promoted over 30,000 self-help groups of poor women, small and marginal farmers, fishers, landless laborers, covering 750,000 poor families in 12 Indian states. Financial inclusion starts with savings. The rural communities in India have a rich heritage of savings in various forms. Institutional arrangements suiting to local context can tap the savings potential of the poor for a better future. Savings in self-help groups bring equity and build ownership with rights to the poor that ensures entitlements for financial services. The savings that the members mobilize in their groups is again on lend to members in need of credit for consumption and production needs. The self-help groups promoted by Dhan have exploded the myth, poor cannot save and they have shown the success of savings-led microfinance model. All the members in the self-help groups promoted by Dhan have a savings of 29 million USD in their institutions. Financial inclusion helps poor to escape from usury. Continued access to credit has enhanced livelihood opportunities and asset creation. All the eligible groups promoted by Dhan have been linked with commercial banks and mobilized credit. The groups provide a separate line of credit for consumption which can protect the investment credit given to members for livelihoods creation. The members away loans for health care, education and to pay out their debts that they availed earlier from money lenders at exploitative interest rates. All the self-help groups promoted by Dhan have been linked with 210 branches of 30 commercial banks and mobilized over 86 million USD as credit. With their own savings and credit mobilized from banks, they have generated credit worth of 178 million USD for poverty reduction. Microinsurance is another critical input that can address the multiple risks and vulnerabilities faced by the poor through insurance products for life, health, crop and assets. Self-help groups and networking bring power of scale for viable micro-insurance services to design and implement mutual solutions on their own as well as through the mainstream insurance providers. Micro-insurance initiatives have helped reach 600,000 poor families with an annual premium of 900,000 USD to provide a risk cover to the tune of 596 million USD. With nearly two decades of experience in building linkages between banks and self-help groups, Dhan has proved banking with poor is a viable business proposition. Mutually trustworthy relationship between the groups and banks reinforce long-term sustainable financial inclusion. The federations of self-help groups promoted by Dhan have become business facilitators and correspondents for banks 
to reach out to the people unreached by the banks. The groups provide a platform for financial literacy to the poor for promoting financial discipline and enabling them to take appropriate financial decisions. Poor men and women meet regularly in their groups and discuss on better financial planning and management in their groups as well as their families. In the country like India with vast area and difficult terrains to reach, it is ultimately the technology that can drive the expansion of financial inclusion. Through timely accounting and information systems enabled by software packages, Dan has built mechanisms for ensuring transparency in the groups. In partnership with mainstream banks, Dan Foundation has started working on IT-enabled kiosk banking in remote areas smart cards for the groups for convenience in availing banking services. <laughs>